Welcome back to my channel. This is Sylvia. Yes, Sylvia the snake. So today I decided to film a look for the fourth and final house of Hogwarts, which is Slytherin. If you guys haven't checked out the other makeup looks I did inspired by the other three houses of Hogwarts, then I will link those below. So if you guys are interested, just keep on watching. Well, that was weird. <laughs> My camera wasn't even filming that, but all I did was take this BH Cosmetics 88 color shimmer palette and went into the green, the bottom green. You can use any similar color that you have and applied that all over the lid. Next, dipping into my Lorac Pro 2 palette. I am going to darken up the crease in the outer corner using the color Jade. Now I'm going to dip into the black shade in the Lorac 2 palette. You can use any matte black that you have and deepen the outer corner just a little bit. For the center of the lid, I'm going to use this NYX Roll-On Shimmer in the color olive. I'm going to apply that right in the center of the eyelid. For the inner corner highlight, I'm going to take this ColourPop eyeshadow in the color Telepathy. And I'm going to bring that on the lower lash line just a little bit. I'm going to use the Electric palette by Urban Decay and dip into this Revolt color, which is a super metallic silver, and place that right on top of that ColourPop eyeshadow we just laid down. For the brow bone highlight, I'm just going to use a matte cream shade. This one is from the Lorac Pro 1 palette, in case you're wondering. I'm just placing down this cream shade first, just to brighten up the brow bone just a little bit and then I'm going to go in with this buxom eyeshadow in the color room service I'm just going to lightly dust that on the brow bone I'm going to take a clean fluffy crease brush and just blend everything to make sure there are no harsh edges or harsh lines now I'm going to create a winged line using a felt tip liner. I'm going to use this Beauty For Real eyeliner in Jade for my waterline and tight line with it as well. It's this really dark green color. I'm going to apply some of it on the lower lash line as well and smudge it out. I'm going to smudge out that bottom lash line using the Lorac Pro 2 eyeshadow in the color Jade. And then for the outer corner bottom lash line, I'm going to take a matte black and darken the outer bottom corner and kind of connect that eyeliner down to the bottom lash line. I'm going to take that same jade color from the Lorac Pro 2 and connect my eyeshadow with the end of my eyeliner. I'm going to go in with that BH Cosmetics green eyeshadow that we used all over our lid and just blow out the bottom lash just a little bit more. 
For the inner corner, I'm going to go in with a felt tip and draw a tiny little triangle to kind of make the look a little bit more sultry. So I actually decided to extend my eyeliner and eyeshadow just a little bit. Uh, and it got covered up with the eyeshadow. So I'm going to go back in with gel liner and darken up my eyeliner just a little bit. I'm going to clean up my makeup and the eyeliner using a makeup wipe. For the eyebrows, I want them really dark. So just go in with either a black or a really dark brown. Uh, I am just going to take my Lorac Pro 1 palette and mix black and espresso together and fill in my eyebrows using that. Just extending the eyebrow just a little bit. Make it a little bit more dramatic. For primer, I'm going to use the Smashbox Photo Finish Primer. For foundation, I'm going to use the Milani Conceal and Perfect 2-in-1 Foundation and Concealer. This is in the color Warm Beige, or 05. For concealer, I'm going to use the Tarte Shape Tape Concealer in the color Light Medium Honey. I'm going to set down my under eye concealer using a banana powder. This one is just from Over Cosmetics. And now using the Bare Minerals Invisible Light Duo. Going in with the matte side, I'm going to set down my entire face. I'm going to contour and bronze just a little bit. I'm going to use a cool tone bronzer color. Uh, this one is just a highlight and contour palette by IBY IB Beauty, which I actually got from my BoxyCharm. And I'm going to apply some powder just to make this contour just a little bit more crisp. I'm going to take these two colors, Freak and Thrash. They're both from the Electric palette by Urban Decay. And I'm going to mix those with the Inglot Duraline and attempt to make kind of an eyeliner. And this is what I'm going to use to draw the snake with. I zoomed you guys in so you guys can see. I just created loops. So loop up, down, up, and down. And the second and third loop I connected in the front. So it kind of looks like it's twisted around the eyeliner. I'm going to copy this same design on the other side and I will be right back. I want just a little bit of glitter, of course. So I'm going to take this NYX Liquid Crystal Body Liner um, in the silver color and I'm going to apply just a little bit on the snake. And then I'm going to apply just a little bit on the inner corner. I'm going to curl my lashes. For mascara, I'm going to be using the IT Cosmetics Superhero Mascara. For our highlighter, I am going to go in with the Ofer Cosmetics You Glow Girl and then right on top, very lightly, I'm going to go in with that Buxom 
eyeshadow in room service just to give it a slight greenish tint. For the lips, I'm going to use the same eyeliner that we used for our waterline. This is the Beauty For Real eyeliner in Jade. I'm not going to fill in the lips the entire way because I want the true color of this lipstick to show through. For the lipstick, I'm going to be using this Maybelline Metallic Lipstick in Serpentine. Just to create a little dimension, I'm going to darken the edges with uh, some black eyeliner. And now going in with that room service eyeshadow by Buxom, I'm just going to take just a slight bit and apply that right in the center of the lips. You can of course add falsies if you would like, but I really don't want to risk covering up the snake design that I worked so hard on. <laughs> So I'm just going to skip that step. Um, my eyelashes still look really full and thick, so I'm just going to skip the falsies for today. But that's definitely your call. Finally, I'm going to set my makeup to help the whole look just melt together. Alright guys, so that's it for this makeup tutorial. I hope you guys enjoyed. Please subscribe if you haven't already, give this video a big thumbs up, and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.